Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are on our way to Duna and we're going to need to warp our way out of the Kerbin system so we'll just warp over towards the moon. Hello moon, here we come. Fantastic. Now our actual landing on Duna is going to be interesting. I want to make fairly heavy use of arrow braking in our parachutes, but we're also going to need to land somewhat accurately. We'll see what we've got. We can grab our gravity scan over the moon's various bits here, I suppose. Uh, we can collect all of this and grab more gravity scans. Not like this is hugely important, but uh, we can grab what we can. So let's... Did I uh, grab that? Collect that. There we go. Cool. We're going to warp our way out of here and we're going to grab some of this. There we go. I don't care about grabbing too much of it. We have all of our science unlocked. The only thing that gets us is money at this point. So that's fine. We're going to collect all of that. And at this point, we can warp our way out of the Kerbin system. So off we go. Yeah, there's a bunch of gravity scans that we can do here. Like a million of them. I don't really care too much about it. So that's fine. Sadly, we apparently can't open this anymore while we're warping, but that's fine. So we're going to warp our way out of here, and we're going to set Duna as our target. We're basically on the correct ascending and descending node right now. So we could see about just finding an intercept. That would be fine. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we're now in space high over the sun. Let's collect all of our data here, grab our gravity scan, and collect that. And let's see how we can do here. How's our timing? Actually? Not bad. This burn time is in, like, 59 days, so... We can continue to head back over this way. Take it out a little bit more prograde. This is very close to an encounter. That's an encounter there. How good of an encounter is it? Well, we can see that we want to bring this down a bit, ideally. To make it a little bit more equatorial. It still needs to come down a decent chunk. Okay. Okay. I think that's too far. That is too far. So we'll bring this back up here and have it sit right about there. Now I want to tweak the prograde retrograde a little bit here. Okay. That's decent, actually. Bring it in a little more, tweaking that inclination a tiny bit as well. That's pretty decent, as far as an encounter goes. I don't hate that. Ah, just trying to fine-tune it a little bit, but it's very sensitive. Okay, uh, 59 is maybe a little lower than we want. We don't really want to uh, arrow break here. Like, like we're, we're not going to use that to put ourselves into orbit or anything. So this is slightly inclined, but I think overall that's okay. Where do we know we need to land? This doesn't actually say, but we need to get a Duna stone. Okay. We'll find that out once we're in orbit here. So let's go ahead and head over to this maneuver note. And we know we're going to need to warp for 47 days. So, I mean, it's not a perfect window, but... This isn't bad, all things considered. Goodbye, Kerbin. We are uh, definitely actually coming back. Our Sentinel managed to get one comet, and we will get more. So we'll continue to warp here a little bit. And this is going to be like a two-minute burn, which is a pretty lengthy burn. So we are going to physics warp it. Burning now. Okay. And off we go to Duna. Let's get this zoomed out a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. We keep seeing uh, Kerbin encounters popping in here. 
Hilarious. We don't really care about a Kerbin encounter, but I mean, as far as just winging it goes, this was a decent timing. Not too bad at all. I mean, it's a lot easier to get to, uh, to Duna than to, like, some of the asteroids in terms of timing because there's so such a big difference there. But, yeah, only a 47... Only a 47-day warp. Not too bad. Okay. So we're going to continue to bring this in. Eh. Overshot it slightly. Let's bring that around to retrograde. Or really, it's going to be more anti-target, isn't it? This is definitely not the path I was expecting it to take. More anti-normal, I guess. Sure. Sure. We'll bring that around and see about just slightly correcting this thing. Okay. That was not what I was going for. <laughs> I think I accidentally hit a wrong button there. <laughs> Let's bring this back around. I think I accidentally very briefly throttled to max. Let's not do that. This is not the encounter we're looking for. So we're just going to very gently bring this in. One meter per second. Okay. How's that? I think a little bit more. That'll do. Cool. We'll call that good, and then we will circularize at this periapsis. I'm expecting that to burn out this entire stage. So let's bring that on down. Yep, we just barely burn out that stage. Cool. A little bit over, but that's fine. This stage has done its job, plus a little bit more. So we will warp on over. That's going to be in 300 days. So that's going to be a little bit of a lengthy warp, and I will be right back as soon as that's over. And we are back. Slightly early, but you can see we finished mapping our suitable comets. So this is actually done. And uh, here we are. In space near Duna's Midlands. Fantastic. So we can grab a bunch of science here, and we will happily do so. Okay. Grab everything that we've got here, including our magnetometer report and our atmospheric pressure scan. Did this actually grab? I'm not sure it did. There we go. Okay. And we will collect all of our data here. We'll grab our gravity scan and collect that as well. We will need to have Hagguard EVA. We'll grab an EVA report and we're going to climb down here, extend this ladder. Actually, we should do this after we do this burn. This burn is like 10 seconds away. So we're going to do that here in a moment. And let's start this burn right about... 3, 2, 1, now. Cool. So this burn will put us in orbit over Duna. There we go. Cool. We're now in orbital mode. And we will stop the time warp, and we'll get the last little bit with these thrusters. That's fine. We've got lots of delta V on this. Uh, we should be on the maneuver node, thanks. Okay. So this last little bit should be fine. 1.4 thrust to wait right now. That'll do. Now we can have Hadgard hop out and start climbing down here. I want to open this service bay. I want to restore the Science Junior. And I want to restore the Mystery Goo Containment Unit. And then we will conduct the material study and observe the Mystery Goo. Keep both of those, collect the data and restore, and collect the data and restore. Then we can close the service bay and climb back up. And those will be stored in this capsule. They will not be picked up here, and that's fine. So at this point, we... I don't think we can 
Well, we could do the same with the gravity scan, but I don't really care about optimizing this absolutely maximally. Let's head back to the space center and figure out what biome we need to land in for the Duna Stone. I'm not actually sure which biomes count. So let's see here. What do we got? Into Mission Control we go, and Duna Stone. Highlands, Eastern Canyon, Craters. Okay. Just checking to see if there's anything else here that we could grab. I mean, maybe, but uh, I think we'll not do that right now. So, we know that we need Highlands, Eastern Craters, or Canyons. Okay, we can get rid of this debris. It does not need to be further tracked. And then we can run the Duna Lander here. And what do we got? Right now, we are in lowlands. Okay. So let's warp our way around over to daylight. This is actually the opposite direction that I thought we were going. We're going retrograde? For some reason, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I should have been, but I wasn't. We'll grab this gravity scan, and I guess we'll grab an EVA report. This is Highlands here. Okay, good to know. But I do want to continue to warp until daylight. So that's Midlands there. We'll have Hadgard grab another EVA report. There we go. Okay. Seems fine-ish. We could YOLO it and just hope that we land in the correct biome. <laughs> it's an option. I don't think it's a great option. Is this Highlands here? We need to find out. So we're going to warp over a bit. Okay. This is Midland Sea. Got it. So that's going to be a little bit awkward for us. We'll grab that EVA report. May as well. We'll grab our gravity scan too. Okay. So yeah, that's all Midland Sea right there. Midland Sea would be by far the easiest for us to hit. Midlands, Lowlands. Midlands, Midland Sea. That was Midland Canyon very briefly there. Okay. So we now know that portions like this are probably what... Actually, would this be the Eastern Canyon? That's the Western Canyon. Okay. So let's grab our EVA report here. And hop back in. And grab our gravity scan as well. So we need the Eastern Canyon. This is the Western Canyon, so clearly we need to go on the other side. I think that's going to be the easiest one to go for, because it looks like Highlands are very few and far between here. Actually, there's a pretty decent chunk of Highlands over here. Yeah, we can't go for Eastern Canyons. Oh, hello. <laughs> that's quite an eclipse going on. I'm just watching the uh, biomes right now. So it was Eastern Canyons, or no, Eastern Craters, Canyons, or Highlands, if I recall correctly. So this is Highlands right here. Okay. In that case... We may want to do something kind of like this. Now, the Martian, or not Martian, the Dunin atmosphere is very, very thin, right? So something kind of like that. And we can always fly over to the biome that we want. But we're going to target the highlands that are like right here. I think we're going to have to move this over a little bit further. Well, actually, no, maybe not, because this atmosphere is so thin. So we'll continue to warp for a bit here. Okay. 
Let's get in position for that. And let's bring this on down. Okay. We'll call that good enough. We're going to sit on surface retrograde here. And we should definitely stow our solar panels. That's for sure. These don't have an alternator on them, do they? No, I don't think they do. But that's fine. We should have more than enough electric charge to pull this off. Okay, so we entered into suborbital spaceflight above Duna. And now we are hoping to hit the Highlands. I don't know how realistic it is. <laughs> we'll see. The Highlands are like right here. Okay, we're warping at the fastest possible speed that we can right now. Although I would like to reorient. There we go. We shouldn't be too concerned about heating here. In all honesty. And what's our periapsis here? Like 20 kilometers? Sure. That's the Midland Sea there. We can EVA here. Oh wait, this is flying high. EVAing was uh, exciting, that's for sure. We are now flying high though, so that means that we can grab all of this. And we're beginning to slow down a bit. Uh, we can't run the atmospheric analysis well, st well stowed, so that's fine. We'll just do that and reclose that bay and collect all of our experiments there. Okay. So at this point, we are slowing down, but very, very minorly, right? So that's okay. Midland Sea is here. Highlands are going to be like right over here. I don't expect arrow breaking to stop us enough. Like, we're probably going to skip out of the atmosphere here. I I really kind of doubt that this is going to get us all the way down to the ground. But that's okay. Well, maybe. I mean, this is starting to drop a decent amount now. But, man. Atmosphere is so thin here. Okay, so this is the Midland Sea here. We should start a breaking burn somewhat soon. Because I believe this is the Highlands over here. So we're going to start that shortly-ish. Yeah, I think we're going to start it about now. So our impact biome is currently in Midlands, and now it's Lowlands. It was Highlands briefly there, but that's okay. So we're just going to come on in for a landing here. I am going to extend our landing legs now so that I don't forget, and we don't want to fire this. We want to fire our parachutes next. Okay. Okay. So we're moving pretty quickly right now. We are slowing down a little bit, or rather we're losing potential energy here. And that'll be fine. But this is currently Midland Sea. And we want to bring that to be, like, up over here. We're now considered flying low. Lowlands. Midlands. I'm hoping that we hit Highlands here. Man. Is this all Midlands here? That's back down to Lowlands. So we might want to try heading up this direction. Let's bring it on up. Let's see what we get. We're shopping for a landing site right now. We're just trying to push it up this direction. Maybe this canyon would count. Not 100% on that. If we have to walk to find it, we can do that. It's not the end of the world. But let's see what we can get here.
Boy, that doesn't want to move very much. But that's understood. So this is still lowlands here. I'd like to get it up over to here or so. Midland Sea? Okay. Midland Canyon? That's still Midland Canyon. We're probably going to have to try to aim for something like this. But for the moment, I'm just going to go to retrograde and slow us down a little bit. Actually, we don't need to do that. What am I doing? We can uh, just let these drogue shoots do the trick in theory. We're going to be entering the quote-unquote thicker parts of the atmosphere soon. And I would like to aim for a different place, but that's currently Midland Canyons. And it did say canyons plural. I'm not sure if that's its own biome or if we can find it in the Midland Canyon. I'm hoping it's the latter, but we'll see. Okay. So we're going to fire our drogue shoots once we can. We can see here we are slowing down, but not... Hugely quickly, but this is completely free, this slowdown. So that's good. These clouds are funky looking, I'm not gonna lie. This is still saying two minutes here, and uh, impact duration is a lot sooner than that. We should start our burn. Okay, now we can do the drogue shoots. Although. The uh, atmosphere is still too thin to use the drogues. So we're going to continue to burn to slow down here. We are currently flying low over the lowlands. There's the drogues. Okay. So the drogues will slow us down a bit. In fact, quite a bit. And then we'll do the mains as soon as we can. We can see we're about five kilometers above the surface right now. I'm going to continue to burn a bit to slow down here, because I'm feeling a little bit squeamish. Okay. Mains. There we go. Well, we're slowing down nicely here. The mains are now deploying. I hope this is enough. I think it is. We're now moving at 30 meters per second. That was a little spicy, I'm not going to lie. But let's bring this guy on in. I hope Midland Canyon counts for canyons. <laughs> we'll find out. We're going to grab what we can here. Oh, that's still 20 meters per second. We're going to have to propulsively land a bit here. Okay. So we ended up losing two of our landing legs, but nothing else. Or actually, we did... No, nothing else. That's fine. Losing our two landing legs is irrelevant. Came in a little faster than I was thinking, but it's all good. Okay, so we're going to collect all of this, and we are going to need to get all of this done. Crew report, temperature scan. It's only a little bit awkward. It should be fine. Okay. Okay collect everything there. We'll have Hagard EVA. We'll grab our EVA report, our surface sample, and we will climb down here and restore our Science Junior and our Mystery Goo Containment Unit. There we go. We'll observe both of those. I don't want to open the doors. Conduct that material study. There we go. Cool. So, I mean, losing two landing legs isn't the end of the world. Since we didn't lose the engines, it should all be good. We'll collect all that. Rerun our atmospheric analysis if we can. Okay, that's all we've got there. So we will have Hadgard restore these once more. And conduct the material studies again. There we go. And we'll keep that data. Collect the data and restore again. Because as we lift off, we're going to want to grab that data. And we will climb up and store that in here. 
Okay, so we're going to need to set up our base here. We are going to also need to set up our... Uh, we'll need to set up our flag, I believe. Transmitter recover from the surface. Okay, so we just need to recover this data. That's not a big deal. I also want to drop this heat shield. It was never really necessary, but we don't need that weight for the future. That'll be fine. Wait, we did need that, didn't we? <laughs> I'm kind of dumb. That's okay. We'll use the container module as a heat shield. It should, in theory, be okay. We're going to need to repack our uh, parachutes here, and we will definitely do so. We'll repack this chute. Oh, you don't, You need level 1 to repack chutes? That's spicy. That's okay. We'll just put this into orbit, and we'll bring a... Uh, We'll bring a, the engineer that we already have in orbit probably in to repack that for us. Yeah, that's something I should have thought of. But uh, at any rate, it is time to put a cut in here. This is only slightly awkward. We're going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to find ourselves a Duna Rock. Hopefully we can do that. I might do that off camera. We'll see. And we'll get everything set up and head on home. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.